How's it going, you sexy beast? The public test server has been updated with what we've been expecting for quite a while. Implants. If you don't know what implants are, these are loadout-specific augmentations to your character that yield you a passive bonus, meaning they can help relay information in combat or help with non-combat systems, but none of them give you a direct advantage over any players that are not using an implant. Anyway, keep in mind, these are the very first iterations of implants and are likely to change. If you want to hop on the test server yourself to view any of these, you can follow the video annotation or the link below to find out how to get onto it. Also, if you have any input on the implants themselves, you can visit the test server forums, which is linked in the description below, to give SOE your opinion on anything discussed here. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about these implants. These are going to be the next big thing, which is primarily aimed at giving people the ability to sync their certification points into items other than certifications, attachments, or weapons. Implants have their own slot available in your class loadout, and each yield a specific benefit for your character. These implants include Awareness, which will auto-spot enemies who damage or kill you if they are not using a suppressed weapon. Battle Hardened reduces camera shake from all explosives, as well as flinching when getting hit by bullets. EOD HUD, or Explosive Ordnance Disposal Heads-Up Display, will detect nearby deployed explosives and will display it on your screen. Hold Breath allows you to, well, hold your breath longer while using a 6x magnification scope or higher, or an infrared night vision scope. Safe Landing reduces fall damage as well as extends the distance before a fall will deal damage to you or a fall becomes lethal. Sensor Shield makes you undetectable to enemy radar equipment and motion sensors, but does not function while in a vehicle. Marker auto spots enemies you damage. Pretty simple. Regeneration will restore a percentage of your health every second while not taking damage. This is generally a 12 second period of not taking damage before regeneration will kick in. Lastly, Enhanced Targeting, which is the starter implant that everyone is given for free, will display health bars of damaged enemies and also increase the range at which your crosshair turns red when aiming at an enemy. How do you acquire these? Well, first, which I'm sure most people will prefer, is a sort of drop system, which will give you a random implant for doing any specific tasks. The, there's little details on this, but I would say they would be given either every experience point threshold, like certifications are awarded currently, or are given whenever you earn a ribbon or a medal, or just when you capture a defender facility. Who knows? The other way to obtain them are through the depot. These come in packages of 3 or 5 and cost 100 station cash for the former and 150 for the latter. Since we're on the test server, they have a certification point cost of 1, so that's probably not going to be the final price point. I would assume that the 5 implant package would cost around 100 certification points, judging by the general station cash to certification point cost of items. For the sake of simplicity, I'll just be talking about the 5 implant box from here on out. When you unlock one and unpackage it, you'll be given 5 random implants, which range between a tier 1 or tier 2. Some implants can range from different quality levels, which vary from levels 1, 2, or 3. Each level alters its effectiveness, as well as increasing its battery drain. Since implants are not timed or consumable, you have to rely on a powered battery which you start off with 600 energy total in your battery, but it can be increased by crafting, which I'll cover in just a moment. Tier 1 implants consume 0.5 energy per second, Tier 2 implants consume 0.75 per second, and Tier 3 implants consume 1 energy per second. Implants consume energy continually while you have it equipped, even if you aren't currently gaining its effect. Say for example, you use Regeneration 3 but are at full health and are not taking damage, your battery is still being drained for 1 energy per second. Once you've collected enough implants, you can craft them together to earn new implants or batteries. Combining 3 implants of the same tier will yield you a random implant of that same tier. Combining 5 implants of the same tier yields a random implant of a higher tier. Combining 2 implants of different tiers awards you a battery cell charger. A Tier 1 and Tier 2 implant yields you a supercharger, which powers your battery by 5,400 energy. A Tier 2 and a Tier 3 implant awards you a ultra charger, which powers your battery by 36,000 energy, or enough time to charge a Tier 3 implant for a solid 10 hours of gameplay. One final thing to note about crafting is that some implants are only specific to a certain tier, such as Sensor Shield which I have only been able to come across a tier 3 version after having opened nearly 500 boxes. 
How are these going to impact gameplay? Well, very radically. Firstly, there are no direct combat advantages to using these, meaning in a one versus one scenario, a person using a certain implant will not be able to have the upper hand over another player who either doesn't have an implant equipped or are using a completely different implant. Personally, I find that the regeneration implant doesn't really fit in this particular mindset. Getting a 6.67% health regen per second with regeneration 3 is absolutely insane while sustaining yourself in a firefight. Also, we know that the Biolab health regeneration always allows players to soak up an additional one bullet in combat since the health regeneration lags and doesn't stop the player if it is hit immediately. If players have, say, regeneration and nano weave armor 5 equipped, they could potentially soak up additional four more bullets in total given the perfect situation. I'm fine with all the other implants since safe landing is pretty awesome due to how often I jump off the side of towers and typically break my legs, and EOD HUD is fantastic for aggressive infiltrators that don't run flak armor so they can pass around corners without being killed by a skill mine. Overall, I kind of like how implants are being implemented. There is no way to outright buy a particular implant that you want since it's kind of a gamble for tier 1 and tier 2 implants and you need to craft plenty of implants in order to get a tier 3 implant of any kind. Of course, Mr. Money Pockets is going to get a tier 3 implant before anyone else can get theirs through the in-game crafting and certification point dumps, but that's the nature of free-to-play games. It sucks, but at this point, I think we're all aware that SOE needs the funding. So long as the regeneration implant gets removed or reworked, I'm rather okay with it. There you have it, you sexy beast implants in all their controversial glory. What do you think about implants? Do you like them since we have a cert dump, or do you despise them since they add another layer of things to worry about and potentially have to micromanage? Let me know in the comments below. Hopefully you guys liked this video, and if you did, please give it a big ass thumbs up. If not, thumbs it down and let me know what it can improve upon. If you'd like to see more videos like these, then go ahead and subscribe. It's free!